friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract where there is anterior insertion of jonule there is only about 3 mm central area in the anterior surface of the lens which is free of jonular fibers and in rest of the places there is some attachment of jonules suspensory ligaments let us observe this surgery by this time the incisions have been made and air bubble has been injected now i'm staining the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye this is a totally unedited recording of the surgery if we apply tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble the staining is very nice and it takes shorter time to stain the anterior capsule another thing is we should wash the dye out otherwise what happens is the dye mixes with visco and visibility is not so good so the dye is nicely washed out and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber the visco is applied over the corneal epithelium also and it improves visibility and now watch rexis when there is anterior insertion of jonule you can see that i'm tearing off the jonular fibers because i have to there is so much anterior insertion i have to tear off some jonule to get an adequate size trexis of about 4.75 to 5 mm and this trexis is small it may be 4.75 mm or 5 mm I didn't want to do a large rexis in this case though the cataract is quite hard because if I go to periphery I have to tear off more jonular fibers and it can cause jonular dehiscence or the jonule will be weak if I tear off many jonular fibers Hydro dissection has been done with PSS. Visco has been injected into the anterior chamber, and now here goes the phaco needle with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated, and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up, and this is my technique, submarine job. and when the cataract is hard and jonule is small when the rexis is small we have to divide the nucleus into many smaller pieces so that the fragments can come out easily through the opening in the anterior capsule so i am chopping each hemineucleus into three fragments and this one i want to tilt this portion yes i want to tilt this and manage this portion of the nucleus at this time i decrease the parameters so that i don't catch the posterior capsule and now some more visco and then I'm going to use this Simcoe cannula 
to remove the cortex. This patient is a one-eyed lady. She has lost the other eye because of optic neuropathy. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. And in whenever the lens is a single piece lens, we can easily do hydroimplantation of the lens. I'm enlarging the main incision a little bit. So the size of the main wound is about three millimeter now. And now here goes the intraocular lens. The lens is nicely in the bag. The optic is overlapped all around by the anterior capsular rim and it looks nice. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. After a thorough lavage, the anterior chamber is nicely formed. And then the integrity of the wounds are checked with a cotton tipped Johnson bard. After that, few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. The take home message in this video is whenever, whenever there is anterior insertion of the jonul, plan a axis which is not more than 5 millimeter. It may even be a little less than 5 millimeter, say 4.75 millimeter.